Hi, I'm Eli Yaman for the Jazz Academy, and today we're joined by Sarah Caswell on violin. And Sarah, I know you have a lot of good ideas about how people can deepen their groove on the violin. Can you show us one of those? Absolutely. I definitely believe in the idea of starting from familiar terrain. And I think for most string players, we're very familiar with our scales. We practice them every day and, and use them to, uh, to get our intonation and our technique and, and all those skills pulled together. So we can certainly use those scales to help find groove. So what I'd like to do is to give you uh, some rhythms that you can apply over a scale. And, um, and we'll try them together, and, and these are certainly scales that you can do and rhythms you can do on your own at home. So we're going to do some shorter rhythms first. Um, this is going to be the first rhythm. So da da ba da da. Okay, let's try it together. Sure. One, two, three, and. <laughs> Next one is another short one. Let's try that one. One, two, three, and. Now, is it anything different with as far as holding the bow, is, or is it exactly the same as you would play a straight rhythm? It's just you thinking of it a different kind of groove. Yeah, I'm just thinking of uh, from a different point of groove, a different okay. point in that in that okay. way. Um, maybe so there's, there's no like swing way of holding the bow. No, the bow. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, everything I'm doing technically, as far as how I hold the bow and how I hold the fiddle. Um, everything is the same. You, you know, you're always going for a good tone and, and really solid contact with the strings. Mm. But how we feel things rhythmically, that's where things are changing just a little bit. Mm. So let's try a couple other rhythms. Okay. The first one is going to be triplet based. Again, it's short. Uh, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, and... <laughs> Another variation is just to flip those rhythms around. So we start with a long note first and then the triplets after. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, and. So those are short little rhythms that we can do to help establish our groove. We can also make up longer ones, and that really kind of helps us get into the pocket or that, f that happy feeling that we get when we're hearing music that we really uh, enjoy swinging to. So we're going to try again four different rhythms that feel really good, that are a little bit longer, might take a little more concentration, but will help develop our skills to get a really good pocket. So here's our first one. So that's the rhythm. Okay, so let's do it on the scale. One, two, three, and... That's one rhythm. Here's another one. All 
rhythms we've done so far, all of them have started on the downbeat. So now what I'd like to do is introduce a couple of those longer rhythms to you that don't start on the downbeat. So here's the first one. One, two, three, and... rhythm I'm going to show you is almost the same as this last one we just played, except we're going to put triplets in there instead at the very, very end. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, and... <laughs> So those are just, you know, eight examples of, of different rhythms that you can do over your scales. So you know the notes, you've probably got a pretty good tempo that you can find on your metronome. I usually use uh, half note equals 60. But it's a way of taking something we already know and, and, you know, maybe stepping into some terrain that we're not as familiar with, but can be if we practice our scales and practice our rhythms.